Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector and welcome back to another car side chat. Once again waiting for my son, so I thought why not talk about some of this breaking news that we uh, just had today from James Gunn. Of course, you might be familiar with James Gunn, of course, from Guardians of the Galaxy and that whole universe. Obviously, um, also the Suicide Squad, which was either liked or not liked. It really just kind of depends on your own personal opinion. But for good or worse, he is taking over DC Film. Um, I know that he has been working close with a lot of people. Uh, he has been working close with Jim Lee and some other fine folks at DC to bring a cohesive, uh, a cohesive universe. Because up to date, let's be honest, the DCU or EU or whatever the heck it's called this week, uh, has been very scattered. Um, some people like Gal Gadot, some people like Henry Cavill, some people like this, Jason Momoa. So we've had all of these things. We had the Snyderverse. We had all of this stuff. Well, that's all dead. It's all gone. Okay. So James Gunn today had a big giant video today um, with a lot of announcements. And so I wanted to kind of react to them. I kind of wanted to share all of this news with you guys. Um, he does say in this video that... Um, you know, it has been disjointed, but we want to have a cohesive story. Hey, everybody. I'm James Gunn. I'm the co-CEO of DC Studios. So as many of you know, DC has been disconnected in film and television for a long time. Um, they're going to be doing animated films or animated shows. And the people that voice those characters are also going to be the live action characters. I thought that was really interesting. So again, a cohesive unit. Now, the big surprise from today is, is they are not focusing on the big characters. Now, they are a few, but there's a lot of universes and characters that we are not necessarily familiar with, or at least general audiences are not familiar with. And so it's kind of that Guardians of the Galaxy take where they take these D-list characters and make them into A-list characters. I think that's what they're going to try to do here. But clearly they are rebooting. Uh, he does go to talk about the fact that they are going to still do the Flash movie and Aquaman 2 and, and some of those, but then that's kind of the end. Flash kind of reboots everything he says, but that's where we get to the end, uh, and it restarts over again. He also says that the Matt Reeves universe will be separate um, in an Elseworlds type situation, and also the Joker part D uh, will also be that way. Um uh, so I think that they will still have these these outside films, but then the rest of them will all be cohesive. They'll all be part of the same storyline, i.e. what Marvel has done over the last decade plus, right? Since 2008, uh, when Iron Man came out. So I am very, very excited of a cohesive universe. I like that. I also like that they're not going to give up on the Matt Reeves universe, because I absolutely loved it. But... The announcements that I saw today, I'm kind of it's like, it's, I'm just kind of surprised. It's kind of like these obscure characters, these characters we haven't seen in a while. I don't know how, how general audiences will react to it, but I think if they're smart, and again, this is an eight to 10 year plan is what they're talking about here. So I think if they stick with it, that there's a chance that they could start building up these characters. Now, the one thing that I'm not all that keen about is it's some of the storylines that they're teasing here I'm not a big fan of um, so will these movies be for me probably there won't be my target audience <clears throat> or I won't be their target audience I'm more of the Matt Reeves guy I like the reality I like the dark the gritty I think that this is going to have some of that of course DC is darker and grittier than Marvel and I hope that they stay true to that I don't think it'll be as dark of themes as the Snyder universe was. I think they're going to try to tweak it a little bit, make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more funny. It's James Gunn we're talking about. Am I optimistic? Ugh. Somewhat. I'm a little bit... I don't know. I feel like I've seen a lot of negativity, like James Gunn's going to ruin it. I'm going to give him a benefit of the doubt. It is a big, tough job uh, to unite all of this, to recast... New Superman, new Batman, you know, all of these, the Green Lanterns, like all of these characters that are coming up, uh, I think that they're going to be younger. They're going to be that younger target audience, those younger actors. 
to build upon that universe, to have the consistency with the actors, um, which is what we have with the Snyder universe, but it is what it is. It's gone. Like, it's going to be kaput, right? Um, so it, it is a reboot, so to speak, but it's still tied into some of these stories, which, again, I think the Flash movie will explain some of it. But anyway, here is uh, the information that uh, James had today, and uh, I don't know. I'm curious as to what you guys think. Hey guys, real quick, pardon the interruption, I just want to say that tonight is going to be a live unboxing Prime 1 Studio, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. It is going to be awesome. It is going to be something that I've never had in the Batcave before, so I'm really excited about that. So again, please join me, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 East, 5 Pacific, only on YouTube. Please join me. We're going to have a blast. So, Peter and I, along with a group of very talented writers, have started to map out an 8 to 10 year plan of what DC Studios... 8 to 10 years... And monsters. Now, this God's and monsters. I'm to tell you is a part of the first chapter. It's not the entire first chapter. The first project is Creature Commandos. Creature Commandos is an animated series. I've written all the episodes. Something we're going to do that's a little bit different at DC is we're going to have characters move into animation, out of animation, usually having the same actor play their voice as who plays them in live action. So that's what I was referring to earlier, the fact that they are going to have a live actor in addition to the voice of the animated stuff. So I think that's pretty cool in itself. Uh, let's keep going. The next project up is Waller. This is a story of Amanda Waller played by Viola Davis. Viola Davis so going to keep Viola Davis. Peacemaker. And this is a story that's been created by Crystal Henry, who did Watchmen, and Jeremy Carver, who created the Doom Patrol. So this is going to be TV. Fantastic story that's out of this world. I can't wait for people to see. Okay. Next up is the big one, the true beginning of the DCU. This is called Superman Legacy. This is being written by me. I'm in the middle of it. I'm having a great time doing it. And Superman will be released into theaters July 11th, 2025. Okay, 2025. So again, we have a brand new Superman. Henry Cavill's out. I know that's going to upset a lot of people, but it's well documented at this point. So obviously we're going to get a brand new Superman, a younger Superman. Again, Superman Legacy, written by James Gunn. So that's that's pretty cool. Okay, the next thing is a big premiere HBO television series called Lanterns. This is a story of a couple okay. of Green Lanterns, John Stewart, New Green Lantern Pat stuff here. Jordan, and we have a few other lanterns peppered in there, but this is really a terrestrial-based TV show, which is almost like True Detective with a couple of Green Lanterns who are space cops. So that's an interesting concept, right? Kind of a detec detective story. Obviously, the Green Lanterns protecting the planet. So that that has some you know interesting intrigue there, in my opinion. Um, and it's cool that it's going to be TV based. Watching over precinct Earth. In it, they discover a terrifying mystery that ties into our larger story of the DCU. Next cool. is a big movie called The Authority. The Authority is a passion project of mine. It's okay. based on the marvelous Wildstorm characters. Wildstorm. So That's quite interesting, right? And will interact with all of our primary DCU characters. The Authority are a group of superheroes who think the world is broken and they Very very interesting. Any means necessary. I think it's a very different look at superheroes. We're doing a television series called Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost is a story of Paradise Island, usually known as Themyscira, which is the birthplace Interesting. of Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman. It's like Game of Thrones with Westeros, but with all of the inhabitants. Interesting that it's going to be a TV show. The introduction of the DCU's Batman Here we go. is the Brave and the Bold. The Brave and the Bold is the story uh, of Batman and his actual son, Damian. Damian. So based on Grant Morrison's great comic book run, Damian Wayne is my favorite Robin. He's a little assassin who Batman tries to get in line, and so this is the story. Probably mine too. And the beginning of sort of the Bat family in the DC. Interesting, right? Next Interesting. TV series called Booster Gold. Booster Gold is one of comics' really popular cult heroes. He is a fascinating guy. Booster Gold. Here we go. Future who uses future technology to come back to present day and become a superhero, so that people will love him. It is basically the superhero story. I know nothing about him. Syndrome. Interesting concept, though. Last year was Tom King's run on Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. And so we're going to turn that into a big science fiction epic film. Oh, now, science fiction, Superman huh? Superman is a guy who was sent to Earth and raised by loving parents for a Supergirl in this
this story. She is a character who is raised on a chunk of Krypton. She Interesting. Wants everybody around her to perish in some terrible way. So she's a much more jaded character. And that brings me to Swamp, Swamp Thing, Thing, baby. Here we go. Swamp uh, Thing. A very dark horror story in the origin of the monster, Nice. Who is Swamp Thing. And although it's totally outside of the rest of the DCU, Interesting. it still feed into the rest of the story. Okay, so guys, to recap, uh, again, Superman Legacy, a brand new Superman. They've got the brave and the bold. I don't love Robin, as you guys know, but I'm, I'm curious. I'm interested to see what they'll do. Uh, Swamp Thing, of course, I think that's going to be very popular. I know my friend Jeff Delaney is going to be very, very happy about that. Uh, the Authority, uh, again, I don't know anything about that at all. Um, so, again, that is something new, but I can see it being kind of like a Guardians of the Galaxy taking these lesser-known characters and making them A or B-style characters. Um, time, of course, will tell on that. Um, and then, of course, we have the Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. So, obviously, a Superman and Supergirl, that's going to be tied together, I'm sure. Uh, Batman, I cannot wait for anything with Batman, obviously. Um, but... I feel like it's going to be a little lighter. It's going to be a little bit more colorful um, than what we've been seeing in the past with the dark, dark, darkness of DC. So that could be good or bad. Um, and then, of course, we have the TV shows also. Waller. It's interesting that they are keeping um, the same actress because, again, that's kind of she's kind of from the old style of films, uh, the old you know Suicide Squad or the old Snyder area. So it's interesting. Obviously, you have the Lanterns. I think that'll be very popular um, for sure. Uh, obviously, again, a detective-style story, so that's interesting. Uh, again, Creature Commando, C Creature Commandos, Booster Gold, and Paradise Lost. I know absolutely nothing about that. So if you guys know some stuff about those things, please let me know in the comments um, because I need to be enlightened. I need to do some homework, apparently, because it, it is interesting to get these newer characters that I'm not familiar with to bring them to the, the forefront. And I think that's I think that's a good thing because I think James Gunn's done a really good job, especially with Guardians, of uh, making us aware of characters that maybe not the mainstream understands or knows about, uh, without a doubt. All right, guys, so there you have it. What do you guys think about these announcements? What do you think? Um, are they something that you're excited about? Are you kind of along the same page as me and say, eh, I'm just kind of nervous about what he's gonna do. I don't know if this universe will be great or not. Um, obviously, you know, Swamp Thing and the Brave and the Bold and some of these announcements, I don't know. I, I'm not a big Robin fan. I just, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, you know, I just don't know if these films are going to be geared toward me. But I am curious as to what you guys think about it. Are you interested? Do you think it's going to be great? Or do you think it's going to be a big giant miss? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, anyway, thanks for letting me ramble on and give you some breaking news here from James Gunn. And uh, I think it's exciting anytime we get new, exciting news and it gives us something to look forward to. I'm going to try to be optimistic. Uh, I'm less excited about these announcements than I was, let's say, the, the Batson universe. But, again, that's just me. But I do want to hear what you have to say as well. So, anyway, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you would do that. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. It tells YouTube that you're enjoying the content. And, again, just thank you guys from uh, for continuing to watch the videos from start to finish. Cannot thank you guys enough. Uh, and I'll see you soon right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Oh, by the way, live unboxing tonight. Tonight, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, Prime One Studio. Join me. You're not going to want to miss it. Bye, everybody. Hey, guys. Thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen. And check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also, please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.